Add precision and feel to your game with the Yonix Percept 100D. Yonix introduces a brand new model to the lineup with the Percept 100D, featuring a new technology called Servo Filter to reduce harsh vibrations. The 100D has a lively 23mm beam paired with a dense 18 by 19 string pattern to get the best of both worlds in power and precision. With a sub 320 swing weight, the racket is easy to maneuver and offers a more forgiving response than other members of the family. I'm always intrigued when Yonix comes out with another 100 square inch racket as the V-Core 100 and the E-Zone 100 are two of my top racket choices right now. And when I was looking at these specs on paper, that 18 by 19 string pattern really intrigued me. So when I got down to the court and I was hitting from the baseline, the first thing I noticed was that this is much more low powered response. There's more control and precision than those other two frames. I also noticed pretty quickly on that it has a lower launch angle, not only depth wise and my balls were landing a little bit shorter, but also my net clearance. They weren't going over the net as high as I expected. So I did a quick fix with that and just was really swinging through the ball. And the great thing is it was really hard for me to over hit with this racket so I could swing freely without any fear. And now as I approach the net, I really liked how easy this racket was to maneuver. I never felt like I was late, always able to get my racket out in front and have quick hands. I was able to hit a lot of successful volleys, including some pickup volleys and low volleys that I don't normally get to. Now when it came to serves, I was missing a little bit of that power, so I was really focusing on my precision. I'd pick a target and go after it, and I also was incorporating some slice out wide to really mix it up. And I really preferred this on returns like I do with most rackets. I love that I was just able to step in and really take big cuts at the ball, aim at even some smaller targets and start the point off aggressively. Overall, I think this is one of the most control-oriented 100 square inch rackets on the market today. I'm just looking for a little bit more power that I get from the E-Zone or the V-Core. I'm a big fan of rackets with 18 main strings. Also, the 100 square inch head size pretty close to my heart. I've used a lot of those over the years. So this was a super easy play test for me to jump into. I loved the blend of both pace and control I had on my shots with this racket. I thought it came through the ball really quickly, so it was fun to generate angles. I was getting lots of rotation on the ball. Surprised by how much spin I could get out of this racket, considering it does have 18 mains. Um, and then it's a bit lively. I usually use an 18-20, this was an 18-19, and I did notice just a bit more flight, a bit more push on my shots out of this one than my standard racket of choice. And it uh, just gave me a little bit more pace and aggression really off the baseline, but I still had that control and rotation on the ball to stay aggressive on approach shots. Or when I wanted to go for a big passing shot, um, I found like I could really crank the ball and it was staying within the line, so that was awesome. Up at net, it's a very fast, easy to maneuver racket, uh, nice plush feel. I think this whole Percept line is a really forgiving response, very playable response. It really makes it a good option for a wide variety of players. And, uh, and then on serve was probably my favorite shot with this one. My slice serve out wide was working really well. It's getting good pace when I was going down the tee as well. So uh, yeah, super fun play test for me and really enjoyed this racket. When I saw the specs of this 100D on paper, I was super excited. They line up really closely to my own racket of choice with a 100 square inch head size along with that 18 mains. Now mine does have an 18 by 20, but it's pretty open for an 1820 and this 1819 is actually a little bit tighter. And when I started swinging this from the baseline, I noticed right away that the launch angle is a little bit lower and a little bit more direct. So I was getting not quite as much easy net clearance, but for me, we had this strung up at 53 pounds and to adjust for that, I think personally, I would have gone a little bit lower for my own ground game just to get a little bit easier depth. Uh, I really did enjoy this racket on slice. That was my favorite shot from the baseline. They were just staying really nice and low, skidding through the court. But on the flip side, they also could generate good topspin. I hit some really nice topspin lobs and I was just finding that back line. I was really happy there. As I moved to the net, I really liked the stability of this racket. I thought for a 100 square inch, 305 gram racket, it was standing up to some hard hit passing shots pretty well. I thought the direction of the ball was right where I expected it to go as well. On serve, I really needed to be make sure that I kept my swing speed up. And when I did, I was treated to some nice spin. I wasn't getting a lot of free power, but placement and spin were the keys for my success there. 
Overall, I actually did test the 100 square inch regular 16 by 19 string pattern, and I found that that one was a little bit of an easier racket for me to transition to offense from defense, although I did really enjoy the direct feeling and solid feel of this 100D. I was pleasantly surprised with how maneuverable this racket was. I found it really easy to accelerate and to generate pace with to help me just hit power and spin on my shots. And even though it is a 18 by 19 string pattern, um, I felt like the spin I was able to get on my shots was very comparable to the 100 version. The difference was where the other playtesters have alluded to. Uh, I thought that the launch angle was a little bit lower with this one, the net clearance was a little bit lower, and it was just not as easy to hit with depth. Uh, but on the flip side of that, um, I felt like I was able to really swing out and really be aggressive and attack my shots without fear of hitting, over hitting with this racket. A key highlight for me with this racket was the backhand slice. I just felt like I was able to knife my shots and keep my shots really low. And rackets that are usually pretty head light and low swing weight like this, I find them to float the balls a little bit, but I think the tighter string pattern really helped with that. Um, and I also really liked hitting in sharp angles with it. I was just able to accelerate, come up through the ball, and hit some top spin and sharp angles with it. The one downside for me here was with the miss hits. Um, I just felt like when I was miss hitting with this racket, the drop in power performance was more noticeable than I would typically expect. Uh, but all in all, uh, I think if you're a player that's looking for a 305 gram racket that's really easy to swing with great control, this is definitely one to check out. We strung up the Yonix Percept 100D with Yonix PolyTour Pro at around 53 pounds. For more information on this racket or any others, please check us out at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.